Hello guys, today I want to show you one mistake which I did myself pretty recently related to service providers and how to register some global stuff from the database in the service provider. And this example comes from Laravel documentation on authorization about roles and permissions. So registering the gates for the permissions is typically done in auth service provider. As it is said in the documentation, typically gates are defined here in the boot method. So I did the same thing, just moved it to a separate method, private or protected method. The difference is that in the documentation, it says user and post as object. So you define the gate with objects already defined as user and post. And in my example, I wanted to make it more flexible and have permissions in the database. So there is a table of permissions, and then there are pivot tables of database migrations roles, permission role, and role user, many-to-many -many relationships. And then the idea is that in the auth service provider, as the documentation says, we go through all the permissions in the database and define the gates, and then use those gates in the controller, for example, like this, so post, create, or something. And we decided to add that permission system in the middle of the project, in the middle of shooting the course, and it worked well while I was shooting the course until I tried to reinstall the project from scratch manually. Let me show you what the problem was and how to fix it. So auth service provider is run every time when you launch something like PHP artisan something or when you load the page. So what happened when I tried to reinstall the repository, so clone the repository and then on empty database, I've run PHP artisan migrate. And then there was an error, permissions doesn't exist. Well, of course it doesn't exist because I'm running the migrate for that to exist. But the problem is, and the reality is that auth service provider and all the service providers run before the migrations. So before executing the artisan migrate thing, it tries to launch this code. And of course it fails because permissions table doesn't exist at that point. So my overall advice, whenever you're doing something globally in any service provider like auth service provider or app service provider or any other custom service provider and by the way i have a separate video about service providers and i will link that in the description below so basically either you should check if the table exists or do some kind of try catch let's try to do it so if schema from illuminate support facade has table of permissions only then run that code otherwise do nothing and now if we save and we run that migration it actually succeed or another way is do try catch maybe there are other errors possible so try catch and then what exception do you catch let's scroll up the terminal and what is the exception query exception throw new query exception with permissions doesn't exist as a table so we need to catch query exception which comes from illuminate database exception and then you can do something like info error something like that so let's delete all the tables now and try to run again php artisan migrate it didn't throw any errors but in the laravel log so info let's open laravel log in the laravel log at the very bottom we have info error so you can do it like this, like silently catching the exception and informing something to someone. But in this particular case, I don't think it's very useful because it's kind of like expected exception if someone installs the project for the first time. So in this case, I would vote for just if statement and I showed try catch just as an alternative if you have more like deeper logic what to do on that exception. So that's it, a quick tip. Have you encountered something like that yourself? Or did you have any problem with someone like someone new on the team installing your project and failing? Share your experience in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get the daily videos for me and see you guys in those other videos.